2017 Acura NSX. This is one of the most anticipated cars of the year, and we're here at Sonoma Raceway in California to find out if it lives up to all the expectations for it. It's been a long time coming. It's been over 26 years since the old NSX debuted, and it's that was a special car for Honda and Acura, and this one is special too. The common thread between the old NSX and this new NSX is both represent Honda's vision of a supercar and the Honda way of doing things. It wasn't fast compared to its competitors, but it was balanced and it was sweet to drive and the engine sounded great. There's a lot of that here in the new NSX. The main difference is this is using a lot more technology and it's taking all of those ideas that Honda's had in the intervening time and uh, applying them to make this a faster race car. So you've got this sport hybrid all-wheel drive. So you have a motor in the back, in between the, the engine and the transmission, and then you have a twin motor unit in the front that's doing torque vectoring and dialing in various amounts of extra boost to make the car behave however you want it. So right now I'm driving in quiet mode. It limits the exhaust to two of the pipes. It uses EV as much as possible. It cuts the shifts to 4,000 RPM. It's, it's a neat trick. Acura thinks that people are going to use it in a limited fashion. I think I would use it all the time. But it's not any good for driving fast. The default mode is sport. It's your everyday driving thing. It gives you a little more throttle than quiet mode and a little more noise. But if you really want any kind of fun driving or excitement, you have to knock it over into sport plus. The NSX has sound tube in the back of the engine that actually has its own throttle on it. The throttle is from a Japanese K car, a micro car. It takes that intake noise and actuates how much sound is passing through and then pipes it into the firewall right behind your ears. Even with the exhaust in full bypass mode, sending air through like open pipes, you don't hear a lot from the outside of the car. And then for real fun, you hold the dynamic mode selector all the way right and it clicks into track mode. This gives you the most aggressive automatic shift programming, it gives you the most noise from the intake, it gives you the highest threshold for the stability control, and the nature of the car totally transforms to this really neutral, like almost oversteering kind of experience. Whereas in the lower modes, it, it takes the inherent understeer in the chassis and kind of lets it keep going. As you dial up the NSX with all of its various modes, it gets sharper and more aggressive and more oversteer oriented, and what it's doing is using the, the twin motor unit in the front to uh, help with that cornering and bring the front end around faster. The best thing about the NSX is how you don't notice what all these things are doing. It just responds to your inputs. Especially amazing considering all the little tricks the car is doing. The twin motor unit will, at high speed, will actually counteract your steering input to smooth out the steering. So they can have a fairly fast rack that's fairly fast responding because at high speed where you'd normally get instability with that, you can use the TMU to make the car more stable. Probably my favorite thing about the NSX is the brakes. It's technically brake by wire. They don't call it that because most people hate the term brake by wire. It's got a servo motor that's blending the regen and the hydraulic brakes. In the cabin, it's using a hydraulic circuit to give you pedal feel. So it's simulating the pedal feel, but it feels like a natural brake pedal and the, the braking performance is incredible. It's totally astounding. Honda is calling this the everyday supercar. They want something that you can get in and out of, you can drive it, it's comfortable on a long trip. It is amazing how comfortable this car is, not just to drive in an everyday fashion, but driving it on the track, driving it on a hard road. You don't get tired, you don't get worn out. You're not hanging off the wheel and you're like using your whole body to hang onto the car. It really is a comfortable supercar. It's easy to drive, but not in a digital, isolated sense. It certainly could use more steering feel. You don't get that idea of like the front tires losing grip or washing away as you would in other cars, but as you get used to the car, you can, you can learn to pick up other cues as to what the chassis is doing. The NSX has a 75 degree twin turbo V6 engine. It's the only application of this engine. They made it just for this car. The engine on its own makes 500 horsepower. When you add in the electric motors, the peak system horsepower is 573. You get around 470 pound-feet of torque. No, this isn't a Ferrari, it's not a McLaren, but it is absolutely the Honda expression of what a supercar should be. In that sense, it's a success. For Autoblog, I'm Mike Austin. Thanks for watching. Quiet mode.
2017 Acura NSX. This is one of the most anticipated cars of the year, and we're here at Sonoma Raceway in California to find out if it lives up to all the expectations for it. It's been a long time coming. It's been over 26 years since the old NSX debuted, and it's that was a special car for Honda and Acura.